Alright, so, let's see, hacking, we can, while targeting an object, hold L1 to open a hacking module, X to trigger func uh, object function, C square creates proximity trigger, shut down object for a few seconds, and attract people towards object, okay? Hang on. Shh, hold up. Oh, cool. Damn, got fucked up. Check the area. Oops. So we should yeah, we probably lure them over to that first before we just start setting shit off. We, we gotta go down. <laughs> just kick him right in the back of the head. Should be a little bit more stealthy. CL four five five nine two. That's not a way to do it. Dang it! Really? Looks like he slipped by. Better call it in. Suspect is on. There. Wait, how do they know it's dead sec? I'm like just a lone hacker. doing well with stealth here. This is actually pretty difficult. Hold it right there. Help him. Where the fuck am I gonna go? Josh. Okay. Okay. <laughs> what the hell? Fuck you, Bloom. In 2013, Chicago realized the promise of smart cities with CTOS, a citywide operating system merging big data with surveillance, security, and transit programs. With a few hundred lines of code, hackers were able to hijack its central servers and cripple the entire grid. Many believed the attack would be a killing blow for smart city development. They were wrong. 
Coordinated from the heart of Silicon Valley, CTOS 2.0 has been implemented across the United States, ushering in the Internet of Things. 6.4 billion connected devices now serve as collection points, mapping and recording our daily routines, making a more secure and more invasive system. But who else is listening? Big Brother no longer works alone. Thousands of little brothers monitor and aggregate your every move building a complete digital profile of you to be bought, sold, or stolen in an instant. Toys study your children, reporting their play habits back to marketers. Appliances, consoles, and home security systems give corporations a window into your private life. Control of your vehicle and mobile device can now be breached remotely by anyone at any time. You may think that you are immune or underestimate the risk, but your digital shadow is already compromised. Insurance companies use algorithms to monitor your life habits and limit or deny coverage. Health providers determine if your cancer is worth treating. Search results and news feeds are skewed to bias mood and influence your vote, engineering social uprisings on a massive scale. You are now less valuable than the data you produce. Data you produce. This is the new reality. Going dark is no longer an option. With threats to personal freedom rising, many are stepping forward. Whistleblowers, activists, and hackers have drawn their battle lines, putting the establishment on watch. But are they threats themselves, or have they become freedom's last line of defense? Freedom's last line of defense. <laughs> kind of fucked up when you really think about it. <laughs> it's kind of how our society is already. So? Am I in? Welcome to Dead Sec. Sweet. I'm Satara. This sweetheart is Josh, AKA Hot Sauce. Yo, you're Hot Sauce? Yeah, man, I loved your frat house hat. Real talk. Thanks. This weirdo's wrench. The needs of the many. And this Casanova is Horatio. What's up, brother? Hmm? It's the crew, huh? Took y'all long enough to come get me. Shit. You saw Bloom's bullshit. CTOS isn't just regulating infrastructure. The amount of personal data that thing is collecting is fucking mind-blowing. Yeah. It's Big Brother and Little Brother all rolled up into one. Huh? Sees everything you do and tells on you. Thank you, Josh. So what's the fix? Sledgehammers and fire. No! Sledgehammers on fire. I'm sorry. <laughs> All that data in one place means they can reject your fucking application before you click on it. <laughs> Congratulations, you have been pre-rejected for our credit card. Yeah, or your house, or your insurance. That's not even the worst case scenario. All that data in the hands of the government? They'll arrest you for shit before you even do it. Yeah, I've been there. Now I fucking know why. Man, fuck it! Fuck it, man. We're hackers. We, we out think, we out dare. I, I say we tear down the fucking wall. Hey, show everyone what, what Bloom's up to, man. Show, show the world that their personal data is being used to rob them of their fucking freedoms. Fuck. I installed a back door, so all we gotta do is walk right through. Uh, hold on. What? He installed a back door, so all we have to do is walk through. Bingo. Hey, man. Did you at the time? Oh, yeah, man. I, I got it. I got it. It's kind of late for a night run, isn't it? Hey, what are you, what are you running from the cops? <laughs> Maybe I am one. Hey, hey you, you look familiar. <laughs> oh, God. Is he the bad guy? Have a good party. Like... <laughs> I just seem too kind of random. Hey. Fuck you. 
Please. What do you do to our phone? Fuck you, Bloom. I'm gonna go have a goddamn good time. Hopefully that's uh, the end of the cutscene. We can actually get back into the game. Oh, nope. Now we're just waking up at some stranger's house. Hello? Whose phone is this? It's your new phone. Where is my phone? In the ocean, where you threw it, I think. I don't remember. I was pretty smashed. Look, meet us at the hacker space. Where? Check your pics and figure it out. This doesn't look like our house, I bet. I mean, why would we just crash in the floor? Yo, whose place am I in? <laughs> I knew it. mission to start off with. I mean, I gotta get better with this game, but... Great outfit. Rocking a t-shirt and unicorn and poop emoji underwear. Damn. <laughs> I guess I was lit, huh? <laughs> like Mardi Gras. Go get yourself something to wear, and I'll tell you where to go next. Oh, and you'll need your phone ready for operations. So hit the store and download your apps before you get here. Damn, walk of shame on my first day. Let's see. Open. So, go to the app shop. Select the... Oh, okay. Doodle Maps. And we have all these as well. Car on demand for five dollars. Landmark to scout and track it on the app. Okay, reach the landmark to take a photo or selfie with it. You might as well just order everything. There you go. I already have that. I think I was embarrassing with them, wasn't I? Okay, you got them all. Uh, let's throw on some rock, because why not? There's two songs of rock. <laughs> Good God. All songs. Can I just put it on a list? Let's see. Visit clothing stores and kiosks to purchase and change Marcus's outfits. Access all purchased clothing from any clothing shop or hackerspace. Yeah, come on. Can we just steal this car? Okay, where is a clothing store? Do we have a couple over here? Wait, we can just fast travel to uh, the shop? Oh, 
This driving is weird. Like, I'm used to, like, Final Fantasy XV driving. Like, I get, that's not a bit on tracks, but, geez, this feels different. Even compared to, like, other games I've played. Scout X location nearby. Oh, I just realized something. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to put on music. So, yeah. Let's, uh... Game options. Because this is going on YouTube, and they probably won't like it. So, audio languages... Off. Because we're not going to be able to have that shit. talk to you. I guess not. Weird. How much money do Oh, I have $9,000. What? Can I not get a... Can I not buy pants? What? Where do I? Torque red bike shop. No, I just want to buy pants. There. Let's just fast travel. Not sure how I feel about the whole fast traveling without having to travel anywhere. Like, typically, like, games are... You have to explore the world first, and then you can... <laughs> okay. Shop. I mean, that'll work. Better than rolling around in goddamn underwear. Alright, Sitar. So where you at? Sending you the location and the passcode for the door. Wow! Oh. Yeah, this is very floaty. <laughs> Gotta make like very small adjustments, or if my guy just goes completely on the other side of the road. Keep moving, keep moving. 
Holster, go ahead and holster that, please. I know, right? So Mark starts raving about Captain Vito, but Ellie falls on the I can't believe my hand slipped. It must have been an earthquake. There's no other way I'd have messed up like that. I had to completely strip the paint off and then start from scratch. Ugh, it sucked. But I gotta say, my miniature army is going to look amazing. Oh, okay. Wait, their headquarters is at a game shop? Your deck is trash. You've got too many cards. Here, look. Get rid of all your Wetlands cards. Your monsters there are all garbage, and you're only getting a plus one synergy bonus. You should be drawing plus three in, like, under four turns. Hi! I've actually talked to people that are like that. Good lord. Yo, you interested in taking a turn? We need one more person to play. It's one of those new German games. Yeah? Shit, that's free road. It won a golden ace. I'd love to, but I'm kind of running late. Eh, fair enough. Hey, hello. Okay. <laughs> so, I rolled a 12 and just barely made a hit. But it was enough. My paladin was down to one life before I was able to heal everyone with a prayer for divine intervention to my deity, Arneson. I have no idea what she just said. Okay, well, let's go. they have this entire headquarters set up down here yo finally so josh and i spoke and fucking over bloom has been a long-standing project all right you need two things to take down bloom you need to get people to rally behind your cause to separate you from the trolls and we need bots and a lot of them to handle the data ctos is processing thank you josh we spent all night modifying our app so you can get followers to download the app and we can use their processing power for the cause this is happening? It's really happening? Mm -hmm. Man, this is happening. You better get to it. <laughs> Hell yeah, man! Barbarians are at the gate and ready to bust some Roman heads. Yeah, we're gonna focus on some high-profile ops, playing for exposure and laughs to get people to download our app. Mm -hmm. All right. Don't worry. So that was something fun. <laughs> okay. I can already see it gonna happen. I'm My just guess. wondering which one of these guys <laughs> are gonna be the one to die. Alive and dry. I wasn't sure after your moonlight swim. Come here. You've got to check this out. Okay, I will in a minute. Let's check this out. The original Chicago DedSec has coordinated operations, everybody mostly working towards the same goal. Rumors say that the leaderless group actually has somebody upstairs calling the shots. The Council of Daves. I can't say if it's true or not, but somebody's focusing their efforts. I know because I studied everything about them, even ran a few of their ops. I wanted to emulate them, try to figure out what worked for them, and apply it to us. But the members of our Bay Area dead set couldn't be more different from each other. Now, if there was a spectrum spanning anarchists to activists, we'd probably fill the whole damn thing. But there's one thing that unites the key crew. Each one of us has reason to hate big data, or more specifically, Bloom and its CTOS. I've been overseeing operations, making sure people get to where they need to be with the tools they require. I've got eyes on the big picture. The way I see it, I've lit the fuse. It's only a matter of time before Bloom feels the dead sec explosion. Okay. So, let's explore down here a little bit before we do anything. DedSec found Josh, hot sauce, posting anti-CTOS videos on invite. Kid had a plastic Halloween mask over his face, a skull, but like the worst dollar store skull you could find. You can see his eyes through it, big no-no when it comes to avoiding a profiler. He had a distorted voice, but he didn't change his speech patterns. See, Josh, he's high-functioning autistic, which means he's got a very specific way of talking. Sitar found him easily, but 
wasn't at all what we expected. When you get down to pure coding, Josh operates on a higher level than the rest of us. We got to look at a CTOS profile and all kinds of nasty flags popped up. Emotionally challenged, unstable, even a low mental maturity score. He's none of those things, and he quickly became the activist soul of our group. He has a black and white way of seeing things, fair and unfair, which means he can be refreshing and often hilarious. We caught a glimpse of the damage CTOS dealt him. Rejected care programs, cut funding, overcharges. We offered to help him make things right. When we met Josh, he had the right intentions and the wrong approach, like a laser putting on a pretty light show instead of burning holes. If Bloom's system wants to make him unemployable, damn straight we're gonna snatch him up and point him right back at him. Okay, so good lord, a lot of these audio files are kind of... But more backstory to these guys, which is kind of interesting. Do I really want to collect them all? Not really. But that's up to you guys if you want to see that or not. Uh, let's go ahead and talk to Wrench. Behold, our very own open source research app. So, like, all of us here pool vulnerabilities that we find. And we encourage everyone to share their work, their research, etc. Okay, so what's the research app do? Widen our skill set? Make us irresistible to the gender of our choice? What, so it's like a I know kung fu kind of deal? If kung fu was a gender and not so 1999? Absolutely. Okay, so select the research app. Uh, wait. Is it in the app store? Oh no, it's right there. Research! So you select the half scale with H and hold X to unlock it. Do, do, do. We can get hardware hijack, combat expertise, hacking capacity, gadget mastery, CTOS exploits, and per, uh, people's data manipulation. Let's see. Don't I already have that? Increase dead sick followers or explore the world to gain research coins. Oh, wait. This hack sends a distraction to civilian phones or blast feedback into enemy headsets. It also counts as 911. Yep, I'm thinking that. Thank you. I like that. Behold! The wonders of technology! A 3D printer? This is the army of printers. It is capable of pumping out an arsenal of lethal weapons down. Seriously? Yep. Once you master it, voila! Hipster merchant of death. All good, except I'm no hipster. <laughs> you keep telling yourself that. Now try to make something. But don't blow us up. Wait, we're using a 3D printer to make a gun? Did you do that? Okay, so first off, uh, weapon slot one, we can get, oh, wow. They are expensive. I guess we'll go with the pistol. Okay, and we also need to get the RC jumper. Over here. That's really kind of cool. <laughs> I, I kind of want one. <laughs> Okay, so gadgets and wheel. Use the equipment wheel to equip weapons and gadgets. Open it and select a gadget or weapon and press the up D-pad to equip it. Deploy and take control of the jumper. Deploy and take control of quad chopper. 